Good morning, everyone. Um, it's been a minute. It has been a very long time since I have filmed or uploaded a video. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm just gonna take you around my day and maybe sprinkle some updates in here and there. I'm pretty sure the last video I uploaded was my first week of nursing school. It is now June 14th. I haven't even looked at my channel in a really long time, honestly. First week of nursing school. I uploaded that on January 24th. We're going on about five months. That wasn't really like an introduction or anything, but I feel like I have a lot of updates, but then I also feel like I have no updates. I feel like everything that would have been something that was worth updating on it's no longer updated <laughs> If that makes sense. One major update is that I do live alone now. If you can tell, I still live in the same apartment. I'm just living here alone. It's been really nice. I think I'm just meant to live alone. Like, I'm such an independent person. I love socializing and I love being with people, but I also, like, have that introverted quality of, like, wanting to just, like, be in my own space. That's that. I got some more pictures from Walmart to add to this wall. I still don't know what I'm gonna do to it. Should I put it, like, up above here and do a new wall? Or, like, do it on this, like, little corner situation and try to make it cool like that or should i just like try and extend i don't know also there's a few that i've taken out of there <laughs> no hard feelings okay tis the next day and if you can't tell i extended it i feel like it looks a lot better because it's like pretty much the length of my bed like it's a little bit on this side and it's a little bit on this side so i'm feeling good about that and i got it to where i could actually extend three rows instead of just two but i still have this pile of pictures i don't know how many that is i don't know if i should try and do like this similar thing here so it's kind of like parallel or i could do it this little corner like i was saying because i've seen like little heart picture walls which i think are really cute i don't know if that would work these are now all like vertical pictures that's my little thought process but i just thought i'd show you this because i'm very proud of it i think it's very cute so i I have a few things on the agenda today and all of them may happen and none of them may happen you know that's just kind of been how my summer's been going that's okay like it's not like a bitter way either i think it's good for me to just go with the flow i can't tell if i'm starving or if i'm just cramping really bad but i'm gonna go make some breakfast because i think that i'm hungry also not really sure if this this is a little corduroy guy and it's like on top of this do good shirt they're both thrifted i don't really know if it matches but i don't really care because i'm not gonna be wearing this out of the house i'm just gonna be wearing the tank top also here's a little update i don't know if y'all ever saw this but these were two like green bins right here now they're beautiful because me and my friend carly painted them that's a little update and i feel like it really just made the tv stand look good because before it was like kind of a little crusty because i mean i got this beside a dumpster so amazing we did it to like match the colors of those pillows and then i also got this little guy from habitat for humanity and it was five dollars and it looks like it's from your great grandma's house and i love that and then i also did this little movie wall like it's just like little clips of all of my favorite movies and tv shows so you can slow it down if you want to see it but a lot of schitt's creek and new girl and rom-coms and gilmore girls <laughs> so oh it's just so good and it makes me so happy there's nothing else on the walls in here but you know that's that's a good one. Oh man they really left my light on in here what a waste of electricity but yeah the peeps came in this morning and looked at my door because i'm getting bugs coming in from under my door because it's not sealed properly but they were like it is sealed we're just gonna get him to come spray and i was like but it but it isn't though i literally saw them come through the holes whatever last night i watched this congeniality one and two because i worked like three night shifts the day before and the day like after my night shifts i really just take it easy so that's what i did i watched two movies and it's been really nice being able to watch movies this summer like last summer just was not a relaxing summer like you'll know that i don't feel like i uploaded that much it was just very busy i have a list of movies i was gonna make waffles because i just really want a good waffle maybe i'll do it anyway i'm just really hungry but i got this paleo pancake waffle mix i really like it actually like i've tried to make my own healthier waffles whenever i got this little waffle maker which i've never had a waffle maker and obviously it's very tiny but one of my sweet friends gave it to me and they were just not that good but these were definitely a lot better last time i halved it and it made like the amount that i would eat but i'm just, just gonna make them all just like stick two in the fridge and then if i want them again i don't have to like do this again i feel like this takes a lot longer to cook maybe because it's like healthier waffles i don't know it might also just be because i like my waffles like brown and they were just like white so they were probably just like just done i need my waffles to be 
crispy. What kind of waffle person are you? Do you like yours like just right, barely done? Or do you like them crispy? Or do you like them somewhere in the middle? Well, this makes a lot of sense. Maybe I forgot to add water last time because <laughs> my waffles were super thick. Yeah, I mean, I followed everything. Wow, I can't believe how much thinner this is. It'll probably cook a lot faster now. <laughs> So let's get the toppings prepped. I did peanut butter and pure maple syrup and then like banana slices on top. <laughs> I've just been thinking about orange juice a lot. So then yesterday when I went to Walmart after work at 6.30 in the morning, I was like, you know what, girl, who are gonna get y'all still some orange juice? This isn't like plain orange juice. It's the orange juice I always had in the house growing up. Orange peach mango by Dole. It's so good. It's very nostalgic for me. What else do I have to say? I really don't know because I have, you know, five months of updating to do. I'm gonna show y'all how I make my matcha latte because I have really perfected it. But I got an actual matcha kit with the whisk and the sifter and everything like that. My matchas were not coming out great because I was making it in the blender and I feel like it just wasn't a peaceful experience and I wanted to do something that I could have a routine that was like calming in the morning. But I feel like I could just never get it to taste right and it took too long and I feel like I splattered matcha everywhere and it was just not the vibe. So then when I went to Utah and I went to this place called Feel Love Cafe, that was the only coffee shop we went to there, but we went there three times because they had the smoothest matcha that I've ever had. And it was like unsweetened matcha powder, like it was a good matcha powder. Cause the coffee shop that I go to here, that I love, don't get me wrong, they use like a sweetened matcha, but this was just matcha powder, milk, and then agave. And I could tell that they mixed it with the hot water, whatever they did. What I've been doing has made my matcha a lot smoother. It doesn't ever like go back to being like powdery at the bottom or anything like that. So it's just been really good and a really good enjoyable experience. And it's still like chill to make. There she is. She's also darker because I do have the cinnamon, but you can just tell that that's like browned. It smells very good though. It smells like a cinnamon waffle. So I might've went a little bit overboard. So I do maple syrup first because I like it to like soak in. I really don't do that much. I just can't stand things being coated. I don't like it dripping onto my plate and having like extra to like dip it in. I don't like that. Which I feel like is a very unpopular opinion, but okay, that's me. <laughs> and then I take my peanut butter and then get a little, little bit like that and then just try and make it cute, but it won't be cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this one because I want to taste test. <laughs> Definitely recommend. I'm gonna go eat this. Finish making these too. I guess I'll talk to y'all later. I was having some little silent time. I realized I didn't wanna just sit there. I think I'm gonna go like on like a little prayer walk because I just, I wanna be outside because I haven't been outside for like four days because I worked the last three nights and then I didn't get out yesterday because I just didn't want to. <laughs> also something that I just recently got is this. It's from Simply Straws and it's like the mason jar lid. Get it for any mason jar you already have, which I was already using this mason jar for my matcha. I would take it like into the coffee shop that I go to. I'd have a lid on it, but I'd have to like unscrew it to drink it. But this is a straw lid. I put my little mouth straw in there. It was a very needed upgrade and I knew I would use it all the time. But even like if I'm not going to a coffee shop, if I'm going like out and about. When I go to work, I bring it in my little keep cup just because I don't know how long it's gonna be before I can drink it. I normally drink it over quite a bit of time because right when I get there, it's pretty busy. I low-key like whenever my matcha gets watered down. So I like having a glass because it gets watered down. I feel like a lot more like old because I have this. Also, I forgot to tell y'all that I discovered macadamia milk at the last coffee shop that I went to that was super good. Their matcha there was so good, but they only had oat and macadamia milk. And I was like a little nervous to try macadamia milk. And I also wasn't in like an oat mood because I really only like oat milk with like spicy chai. Cause I feel like it's kind of overpowering. And then with coffee, like I think it tastes good in coffee cause I can't taste it, but I don't get coffee. So I make my matcha in one of these. I take my water I'm drinking out of and I pour it. So I think it's about like at an ounce, which is I think I'm just like at the bottom of that red line. I chuck it in the microwave for 30 seconds. I get my matcha. I use the Rishi Everyday Matcha because it's one of the cheaper matchas that I've ever found and it's 
really good. It's like $12 for this off the website and then I had to pay for shipping. But then when I went to Sprouts last time, which I don't have one here, but I have one back home and they sell this for $10. So I will not be paying for shipping or paying off the website anymore. Just a little tip. They do have Rishi Matcha in the Sprouts, or at least my Sprouts. And then this is like my whole matcha stuff, which I don't even use the bamboo. I just use the bowl to hold these two things because those are the only things I use now. So I take my hot water, take my sifter. This is a teaspoon, which I honestly don't even know if you have to sift this. I really feel like the frother gets it super smooth, but I still do it anyways. So then I just sift her in here. Sometimes I give up like halfway through or like at the very end and I'll just dump it in there and it's fine. Just have a little moment while you're sifting your matcha. That really relaxing sound. Once it gets to this last part where I feel like it's pretty smooth because I've been sifting it, I just turn it over and I tap it to try and get as much matcha out of there. So my sweetener now of choice is agave. I've used this agave before. This organic agave in the raw. I do not like it as much. I haven't used it while making it this certain way, but I feel like it had too strong of a flavor but this really just sweetens it. So I just do a little, that bit. I don't remember much really. And then we just whisk. I go around, I stay in the center, I go on the side, up the sides. I do, a, I do it for a bit so that there's nothing left. Okay. So I was talking about macadamia milk. I discovered it. I tried it in their mantra and their chai, and I really liked it because the way that she described it was almond milk but a little creamier and i was like well i love almond milk that's like my go-to but if it's creamier then of course i'd want that and then i go and i add this to like the eight ounce mark get it all in there i take a little sip make sure it's okay macadamia milk has this like marshmallowy flavor to it i really only ever taste when it's like the foam on top it's very good the glorious pour shot is really where it's at Amazing. And there you go. I got my matcha and I'm going to go on a walk. Hopefully it'll be a good little walk. Good little source of sunshine. I might go thrifting while I'm gone because I really want to find not like not like this corduroy that I was just wearing, but like something like super light like that I can throw on over anything and still wear during the summer. People just have such cute little tops and like I feel like I have no cute little tops. I have like three and I wear them all the time. <laughs> so we shall see. I'm gonna go. I haven't walked all yet, but I mean I've walked probably like 15 minutes. I saw the shade and I couldn't resist. I'm just on the ground. This is the spot where I used to sit in like so much fresh in here. And it's just like oh my god, so many memories. Oh my gosh. And it's so pretty. It's just beautiful outside. Nostalgia. We love it. I'm really just coming to all my nostalgic spots at this point. I'm in front of where I used to take Spanish. I said so. Yeah, let me zoom in so you can't see anything. Right here is where I took, on this little thing, is where I took my first really bad fall on the skateboard. Throw back to whenever I used to be a skater girl. I miss this campus. I haven't been here in like a month. That was good. I probably should have went walking after I went and did all my errands just because I'm literally sweating, but maybe the AC will cool me down by the time I get there. Don't look at my armpits. I walked for like about 45 minutes. I just stopped those two times that I turned the camera on, but my matcha was like really warm <laughs> towards the end, so it was not good. I know I was like, I like when I'm up, but it like sat there for a while, but it's all good. Yeah, I'm sweaty. Hopefully this doesn't fall. I'm just gonna go a few feet and then I'm gonna turn you off. Oh, freak. There were these super pretty flowers everywhere and I took one picture. It's probably gonna be in my thumbnail because it's so cute. But I'm gonna drive and then maybe I'll show you if I get anything lofting. Okay, I feel like I've found some pretty cool stuff. So we shall see how all this looks. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I feel like, yes, it's definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm not wearing a bra right now. And I feel like a bra that would make me feel a little more covered. And then I could wear this with either like jean shorts or I could wear it with my black ripped jeans. You can make it strapless, which is very fancy. I'm so glad that this was in here because I was really wanting like this kind of top, but this is a medium and I feel like it's gonna be way too low. We shall see. I have a colorful one now. Okay, this is so fun. This actually fits and it's not too low either. I don't know if it's like too flared. I don't know. I don't know, I'm not really sure about this one, but it's a good like neutral color. I could wear it with like a little cardigan. I, oh my gosh, like I look really rough. 
No, my battery's dying. I think it's very cute. It's a little short. I feel like I could really only wear this with jeans because I don't have any shorts that go up like really high. So I'm gonna pass on this because if I'm not crazy about it, I'm not gonna get it. This is sad because this is the Madewell top, but I'm not really crazy about it. I don't really like the color. I feel like it makes me look too pale. It's like a good length. I feel like this would not be like too cropped on anything. I'm not crazy about it, so I'm not gonna get it. This is definitely a no. <laughs> I do not like the sleeves. I, yeah, that's, yeah, this is a no. <laughs> I think this is cute. I'd wear it with something over a tank top just to give me like a little more coverage. I really like this. Because of the gray, I feel like even that would be cute with this. Okay, obviously they're very wrinkly, but these are literally the kind of pants I've been looking for for a long time. Like you can have like a little outdoor moment and they have pockets. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, they're way too big. And I have the string tightened like a lot. And then I kind of just pull it though. So it's not like all bunched in the front. And I feel like that kind of makes it look like a little paper bag-ish. <laughs> in the butt, it is, I feel like it's definitely too big. If I pull it up, I think that's fine. But I think I'm going to get them anyway because I just need a good like, they're kind of like linen-ish. I feel like it's about the closest I'm going to get. And there's pockets and they're comfy. Normally shorts like this I would never consider. But I kind of really love them. So, okay, well, I thought I was done, but then I forgot I had to look at the dresses. And this is so cute. I literally can't. It's from Shein, so it's like a super thin material, but it's very flattering because it like, it like goes in and then comes out. Like it's just like straight. So I love this a lot here, the finds. Oh my gosh, it is boiling. My battery has kept saying it's gonna die and it hasn't yet. It's now 2.30, I think I went in around one, but that was really nice to be able to just not have anything else to do, so I literally went through every rack. I was gonna go to Scrub Hub, which I still could. So I obviously decided to come here, got my scrubs, I'm excited, because they're like actually my size, because I actually got the petite ones this time, because my other joggers are like a little longer, but they're also a different brand. These are like Meta Couture, and they're very soft and nice. I was like, whatever, while I'm spending money, might as well come over here. Y'all, I hadn't even looked at the temperature. It's literally 98 degrees outside. That is insane. No wonder it's a bit sweaty. I think I'm just gonna have to run a small load of laundry because I want to wear one of these tonight. I might not end up wearing it, but I need to have the option. Okay, so I made some lunch because it's 3 o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch, but I have my garlic, honey, lemon chicken, my roasted squash and zucchini, and then it's all over jasmine rice because I love me some jasmine rice. Then I'll probably have some little cantaloupe with it. Oh my gosh, excuse how I look right now, but I just did my workout. I just did like a 30 minute low impact stretch and tone workout and good i didn't want anything like too intense because i'm on my period and i'm just not feeling that maybe i'll do one of those on thursday like a actual strengthening workout some weights my stuff is all dried from the dryer i have it all hanging finishing drying so i guess we'll see what i wear if i wear anything i'm running so late here's the fit i ended up going with because my floral top is still wet and i almost wore it wet but no i don't need to so but this is cute i'm excited I haven't worn my jean shorts yet either and those were also thrifted. Okay, so I just got home and I just wanted to like kind of recap the day and I just want to say that I'm so thankful that I decided to vlog today, especially like I brought my camera in thrifting with me and even though I wasn't like shopping around going through the racks with you, like I was in the dressing room and it just was fun. I felt like I was trying on things with a friend. I just want to say thank you if you were part of that and if you enjoyed that. Tonight was like a little bit of a letdown, but that doesn't make my day any worse. I just want to focus on the good parts of the day and how much of a good time my day was even though I spent it all alone. I think it was really good. I feel like a little bit of the reason that I was let down honestly was because I was like expecting a lot out of me socializing. But honestly I feel like I was more fulfilled by like spending time alone which I feel like hasn't happened in a very long time and that is nothing against like the people I was with. Maybe you need to hear that. Maybe you 
are let down by people a lot and it's because you don't need to put your hope and your trust and your identity in other people like all of that needs to be found in the lord and that's the only way we're going to be satisfied and fulfilled i think it's good that i had such a good time alone today because i feel like i haven't done that many things alone in a long time like normally whenever i go thrifting i'm like oh that's a perfect opportunity to hang out with someone or go on a walk like that's a perfect opportunity to talk to someone which is great but i also think that it's really good to have alone time and i feel like i haven't really been doing that i watch hannah maudie here on youtube she moved to new york and like she's been doing like little solo trips so that's been really inspiring like i'm living alone now obviously so i am alone so i try and see people to make sure i'm not alone all the time but like she lives alone too and she still spends time alone and goes places by herself i feel like it's a lot different to like go somewhere and do something by yourself rather than just sitting in your apartment and being by yourself i'm feeling better now i'm like a verbal processor so just like talking about this has made me feel like a lot better i'm really thankful that i vlogged today and i thank you so much if you watched this video if you watched just a bit of it or if you watched the entire thing i thank you so much i'm obviously not consistent here on youtube this is just a place that i have fun and i don't get paid so i really just do this because i love it so that's why i don't put pressure on myself to upload every week because i want to do it when i want to and when i like love to i don't want it to be pressured and i don't want it to be like an obligation or a job or anything like that which it would never be because literally we'll never make money off of this channel i'm okay with that i watch these kind of videos and if that's one more video out in the interweb to like watch and have a good time with and watch someone thrift and make a matcha those are the things that i watch i want to create the content that i love i really hope y'all did enjoy this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it would mean so so much to me thank you so much for watching bye